This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. We're very fortunate to be here today with two very knowledgeable guests. First, we have with us Ken Dolan Del Vecchio, a Vice President of Health and Wellness at Prudential. And we have Dr. Judy Postmas, who's the Associate Professor and Director of the Center on Violence Against Women and Children. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Well, we have an exciting topic here today, an opportunity for professionals in our area to learn more about how they can help uh, deal with the issue of domestic violence. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about the name of this conference. What's it about, the general uh, feel for what people can expect? The name of the conference is Domestic Violence, How Workplaces Get Hurt and How They Can Help. And it is all about how the workplace is a place where if there's awareness being built there and if there are the right kinds of policies and the right kinds of readiness, people who are struggling with this tragedy of domestic violence can get the help that can save their lives. And it is a conference that is inspired by one that I had the privilege of attending and speaking at last year in Atlanta. And while there's a lot of communicating that goes on about domestic violence, this conference was for human resources professionals, management professionals, and other leaders in workplaces. And that's rare. So that's something I thought we can get together with our partners at Rutgers and with some of our corporate partners and recreate that experience here and that opportunity for learning. And uh, Doctor, you tell us a little bit about you, the Institute is involved, the Center on Violence Against Women and Children is involved in this particular venture. Tell us about the partnership that's occurring here. So there are a number of sponsors of this, of this wonderful conference, this day-long conference. Um, the Center on Violence Against Women and Children, our center is an academic center where we are striving to eliminate all forms of violence against women and children, everything from physical to sexual to economic to psychological, um, as well as address the power imbalances that permit them. And part of our role as an academic center is to work with community organizations and community groups, be they nonprofit, government, or corporate um, entities, to um, work together on, on addressing this issue. And so this was a wonderful opportunity to, to match up with Prudential as well as our center. And we have other sponsors, including the Institute for Families, which is also part of the School of Social Work at Rutgers, of which our center is part of. We have a number of other corporate sponsors, including Verizon. Allstate. All State. We have Johnson & Johnson. We have FEI Behavioral Health, with, right. which is an EAP firm. We have Life Care, which delivers work-life resource and referral right. services. And there are others as well. We have the Employee Assistance Professionals Association of New Jersey. Right. So this gives us an opportunity as a center, again, to, to partner with these, or, these corporate entities um, and help them address the issue of domestic violence in their own workplace because we know it affects millions of, of workers and employees and, and ultimately affects the bottom line of many of these corporations. Mm -hmm. So it's a unique partnership of both the corporate and the academic world mm -hmm. to handle yeah. a larger problem. Yeah, and we, we, are, we are looking for representatives from large corporations from smaller businesses, from hospitals, from educational institutions, because everywhere people work, this problem exists. Absolutely. And it touches, as Judy said, at least four million women every year in this, in this country. About 31% of women will be physically or sexually attacked at least once in their lives. Mm -hmm. And so both the, the survivors and the perpetrators are at work with us. They are in every workplace. They are our colleagues. They are our supervisors. And we owe it to the community to make sure that there's awareness that's being built and there's the right kinds of help for the people who are embroiled in this. We all understand that domestic violence has been an issue up front for a long time, but it is kind of a new nuance that we're talking about it at work. Could you tell us more about that? Sure. I mean, as you mentioned, we've been talking about it in this country for a number of years. Um, I think what the, the difference is we always as associate domestic violence as happening just in the homes and in our communities, and we don't think that the victims and the perpetrators are actually our employees working in, in our corporations and our businesses, um, to the point that um, businesses annu annually will lose between four and five billion dollars a year for costs that are associated to domestic violence. And people have this myth that it's a private matter. It's not a private matter. If these acts were done, in public, they would be felonies. If you punch somebody, that would be a felony offense. If you dra drag somebody across the 
floor by their hair. So it's not a private matter. It's a serious crime. And it's also the starting point. Intimate partner violence is a starting point for at least a third of workplace violence incidents. And in New Jersey, there's a new, brand new legislation. Do you want to mention that? Sure. It's called the SAFE Act. It was just passed this week. Um, in which employers are responsible for providing time off for victims who seek services or, or help or court, uh, court decisions or attending court and so forth. So um, this is brand new, just came out this week, and so we're really excited that New Jersey is even addressing it, and so our employers need to be aware of this as well. So Ken, tell us a little bit about what are some specific skills that the people who attend this conference will walk away with. Well, people who come, and we're expecting that the people who come will have a leadership role in their workplace. They'll be a human resources professional or manager, maybe an EAP professional, and they're going to learn a lot more about the dynamics of intimate partner violence and the way it shows up at work and the constructive ways that they can approach the situation. They're going to learn about the fundamentals of policy, and they're going to learn about how important it is to have readiness in terms of people who have some knowledge about the issue, they come from different different disciplines, so maybe if you have a security organization, the security folks and the human resources folks and the behavioral health folks are connected to one another and ready. And then after the conference there's going to be a host of resources that are available for consultation. So it, it's a time to learn, but it's also the beginning of consultation that can help the practitioner in their workplace to develop over the next several months. So the resources available to follow up with what you've learned. Consultative information and Judy's group and the New Jersey Coalition for Bowded Women are going to get together and be available. Mm -hmm. And we'll have plenty of resources for the people who attend on understanding domestic violence and where to get help. We could talk about it for some time, but I do want to give folks the opportunity to know the time, the date, and the particulars about this conference that's coming up. It's October the 18th. October the 18th. Full day conference. Starts at 8.45 in the morning. At Rutgers. Day at Rutgers at the uh, Bush campus mm -hmm. in the campus center there. And I understand there it's free. It's free. People who attend will get breakfast and lunch. It's Friday. Why not come for the breakfast and lunch? And if that isn't something, then also there are a range of credits, professional credits, that are available. So if you have any of, the, any of the human resources credentials, so if you are a professional in human resources or a special or a senior professional in human resources or a global professional in human resources, five credit hours. Mm -hmm. And there's also credits for social work. Mm -hmm. Six and a half credits for any social worker who needs to have the continuing education unit. Well, we thank you both for being here for Prudential for Rutgers, and I know there are many sponsors that uh, have been part of this important work, and we thank them as well. Thank you for thank coming. You. Thank you for today. having us. Thank you.